know that living organisms survival depends on various natural resources and food is one of the most essential resources and do you know what makes food so important it is important because food supplies proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals that is the five main nutrients we require for our development growth and health now both plants and animals are major sources of food for us and scientifically these sources are called agriculture and animal husbandry so do you know which food item provides which nutrient well if we talk about agriculture beans provide proteins oil seeds provide the necessary fats cereals provide carbohydrates and pulses vegetables spices fruits etc provide vitamin and minerals now from animal husbandry along with meat egg poultry fish and other seafood we also get milk and milk products like curd cottage cheese cheese butter etc now that we know about the importance of agriculture and animal husbandry we can say that it is essential that their production is monitored properly now with a population of more than a billion soon india will need more than a quarter of a billion tons of grain every year to provide food for this ever growing population and that can be done by farming on more lands but india is already intensively cultivated so we do not have any major scope for increasing the area of land under cultivation Therefore what we need to do is to increase our production efficiency for both crop and livestock but do you know that india ranks second in the worldwide farm output compared to the world's population india is the largest producer for different kinds of fresh fruits vegetables milk major spices selective fibrous crop like jute staples like millets and castor oil seed india is also the second largest producer of wheat and rice which are the world's major food staples but do you think india was always this productive no that's not the case let me tell you how we achieved this before the mid 1960s India was dependent on imports and food aids from other nations to meet its domestic requirements but after facing 2 years of severe drought from the year 1965 to 66 it became clear that India needed to reform its agricultural policy and the government realized that India could not rely on foreign aid for food security and that is why India adopted significant policy reforms which were focused on the goal of food grain self sufficiency so efforts were made to meet the growing food demand of the people and these efforts revolutionized the fields of agriculture and animal husbandry some of the revolutions that shaped modern indian food productions are the green revolution the blue revolution the white revolution and the yellow revolution now the green revolution put emphasis on the high production of grains the blue revolution put emphasis on enhanced fish production the white revolution placed its importance in increased milk production and the yellow revolution wanted to increase oil production but production and population go hand in hand like when the population was not an issue there was enough food grain available for the people but as i mentioned earlier the tutor me for more amazing video lectures download the free app on the apple app store or the google play store